What's up, modern steaders? We've been getting so much rain here lately, it's not even funny. I wish we had a rain gauge and we could tell you how much rain we're getting, but we don't. I guess we need to get one. Are you getting a lot of rain where you live? I know we're supposed to be having rain all the way up till next Friday. The 10 day forecast shows rain pretty much every day, except for tomorrow, and I think that's it. Saturday they're calling for a little bit, so. A lot of our projects have been put on hold, unfortunately. The mobile chicken coop out there is on hold. I'm trying to get the garden beds ready, but we can't. It's a little frustrating this time of year when you're trying to get everything going and you can't be doing it. So, what are you guys doing right now to get ready? I thought I'd give you guys an update on the plants we started early spring. Look at these tomato plants, they're doing awesome. It's like a jungle. The potato plant got so tall, it ended up falling over. We're gonna have to transplant those. We got this tomato right here. It's doing nice. I gotta start transplanting a lot of this stuff. Here are the onions we started from set. Those could use to be transplanted. And take out a tomato and look at the roots. See all the roots? Those are gonna be nice. Our broccoli and cauliflowers aren't doing so great. I'll show you the ones in the basement. So here are the broccoli and cauliflower we planted. They were actually planted before those tall tomato plants. They're doing all right, but they're not doing that great. I was really looking forward to having some good cauliflower and broccoli this year. So if you guys have really good luck planting that stuff, leave it down in the comments below and give me some suggestions to help these guys out. Oh yeah, right over here are the peppers we started from seeds that we got out of the store-bought pepper. Let me show them to you. Those guys are doing good. We'll keep them under here in the grow light for a little bit longer and then we'll move them upstairs on the table right by the sliding glass window where everything else is. Let's go check on that broody hen. There's the coop. Hello, chickens. <laughs> These ladies want to get out on pasture. We're just waiting for the weather to break. We're working on making a video here. Have some respect, would you? He doesn't care. He's gonna crow all day and all night long. It's crazy. I think he started crowing this morning around 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, we're talking about you. So here's the broody hen. She's doing good. Oh, she doesn't like me pointing at her. She's puffing up. But she's doing good. She's <laughs> Mr. Rooster. So disrespectful. But she's been sitting on the eggs now. She hasn't gotten up the last few days. If she's gotten up, she gets right back on that nest. So I think we're gonna have good luck with leaving her in the coop and not having to move her into a different area. We're gonna leave her there. If she gets up again, I will put her in a dog kennel inside this coop. We're hoping to get a chicken tractor up here. I'll go show you. Watch out, guys. So this is the apple orchard we just cut out the other weekend. So my plans are is to get one of the chicken tractors over there. That'll be one for the meat bird. I have one down there for the egg layers that you can barely see that has nest box in it. I gotta drag that up here. We're gonna stick it up here, but I'm not gonna move them around inside the orchard. I figured I'll probably put the tractor here. I got some poultry netting and we'll fence off the orchard 
and then we'll fence off the orchard with the poultry netting and we'll let them free range throughout the day and we'll lock them up in the chicken tractor at night. Sounds like a plan, right? And then for the next few weeks, I can stick the meat birds and the bodrock chicks in here and get them out of our basement. They're getting a little stinky. Like you gotta clean the, you gotta clean the brooders every day and you still smell them. The little Cornish crosses, they're a little poop machine, so they're constantly pooping. They put off some crazy body heat, so it kind of smells like a gym locker in their little brooder. So we gotta get them out here. The layers in here. And then, not this weekend, but next weekend, we have the piglets coming. So it's gonna be busy around here. Once the weather breaks, the grass is gonna be growing. We gotta put the mower deck on the tractor. We gotta get some gardens going. We're gonna be busy. We gotta finish the coop, the coop de ville. So we're gonna be a little hectic around here pretty soon. We already are, so let me know what you guys are up to this time of the year in your homestead. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, share it. It really helps the channel grow. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.